Hi, I'm Sandy Peterson, and I'm going to do an unboxing of our latest game, actually my son's newest game, 8-Bit Attack. Here's the box cover. Uh, this box has been played, so it's been punched and the cards uh, taken out, so bear with me. And I'm not sure that the person that put the game the stuff back in the box put everything where they should go, but it's got all the pieces. So let's see what we got. Okay, we have this big punched thing. This actually is not used in the game, it's just for fun and uh, help advertise one of the uh, sequels to it, so we'll toss that aside. We got a manual of game rules, and the back of the manual helpfully has a quick reference to all the symbols in the game. So that should be handy. Here is the final boss. Actually, we have two versions of the final boss because there's this guy and there's this little token. This guy walks around on the map. So this is the final boss's card. And here are the hero cards. There's 20 of them and they come in four flavors. There's uh, the heroes the fight that, are, that uh, are from the cultist universe, the heroes that are from the myth universe, the heroes from the science fiction universe, demon guys, that's right. And they're in here too. And there's one, demon, okay. So we have all four of the types of cultists. There they are. Their cards are the same size as the hero card. Then we have the enemies. And here are the champions. These also come in four flavors. The champions are kind of like mini bosses. And then there's the four flavors. Cultist, myth, demon, more myth. I guess I didn't get sort of right. And alien. So there's the... 75 or 80 cards we have for these guys plus the champions. You don't actually shuffle these together. Here is the, the, the turn tracker. And this is where Cthulhu goes. He starts here. Ah! Drop my cards. These cards are really smooth and slick. I guess that's good quality. Um, and each turn he marches down the track and when he gets to here then the game ends and you lose so don't let him get there. Here are printed out cardboard tokens for potions. You have healing potions, resurrection potions, and energy potions. And they're nice and big and chunky so you can play with them. Here's energy tokens. You spend energy to use your abilities. You can see on this guy, this ability costs two energy, this costs three, and this costs four. Then you store the energy and you spend it when you want to do things. So there's the energy tokens. Ooh, funky dice. This, these are always fun. So here's the dice. And you can see we have a whole lot of dice that look the same and then one weirdo dice. So these dice are the battle dice that are used by the heroes to fight the monsters. The monsters don't roll dice, they just do things. Well, they actually, they kind of roll this dice. This is the tactics die for the monster. You roll this at the start of the com at the start of each turn of combat and that's the tactic the monsters are gonna do for that combat. So for example, this champion when the yellow tactic is up, he'll do this action. And when the purple the purple tactic is up, he'll do this action. And he won't do anything when the green uh, when the green tactic is up because he doesn't have a green action. But uh, that's that's so you're lucky if you're all green against him. Then these are your combats with all the different options. And these are indented a little bit and engraved so they won't rub off. So they're nice. Okay. Hint cards, yay, so everyone can tell what the game sequence is, and also some quick combat icons to know what things mean. So for example, you can see in the combat icons, these are Cthulhu's armor, he has a lot of it. Okay, these little guys here are actually the cards to pick what assault you're gonna play, and they go actually go on the champion's card at the top. So if you're in, in level five assault, you'll replace these hit points with this, and it'll be level five. So he'll have 30 hit points, and then you'll work on it based on that. So there's seven of these, one for each assault. Those are the hit cards. Um, okay, here are the status cards for buffs and debuffs. You don't shuffle these. What happens if you have been warded, you'll put this on your card. Look, I've got a ward. 
you know, if you're taunting, if an enemy is taunting you, you put a taunt card on them and so forth. You have stuns and empowers and afflictions and all kinds of different different things that can happen to them. You fear, you can fear them and cripple them. All these things happen to the enemies when you're playing the game. And uh, those cards keep track of it. But also to help you keep track of it even more, we have more tokens. And, oh. These are timer tokens. You put these on the cards. Like if someone has a ward, you put the timers on it, and then you take the timers off one per turn until they're gone. And that shows what the timer is. And these are medals, and you earn medals from the assaults. Like if you did a level two assault, the whole team together would get two medals, and you have to choose who gets the medals because those give you various bonuses. And, and basically level up your character to be tougher. These are, well... I was about to call them health markers, but really I guess they're damage markers. They keep track of an enemy's damage. So like this enemy here is 23 health. And so you you put you pile damage on him and they come in one, five, and twenties until he's dead. And you can also you also do that to the heroes. He has hit points. You pile damage on them until they're dead. Okay, these are very exciting because these are the the runes of the game. And you get these when you uh you have to pay medals for them and they're specific to play to character so we'll bump them down here so for example this character um ava the adventurous she has a hit point plus five rune she can get for a medal she has the two boots that's fast armor um i'm sure somewhere in there there's one uh there they are two boots that gives her uh, a slow armor that gives her slow armor, and then she has the fast hit, she can get an extra fast hit. So this gives her more hit points, this gives her some armor, and this lets her get an extra damage every time she hits, and that's what those are. And that's everything that goes in the box. Look, no game board, um, just these things. There's, the only decks you have to shuffle are the uh, decks for the, for the enemies, and you don't have to shuffle them very hard because you don't really care which enemy you're going to get, I don't think. Well, you, I guess you care actually quite a bit, but... But the damn, they're, they're kind of sort of by groups anyway, so you can get the uh, the various enemies. And they're nice big cards, easy to shuffle, and that is what goes inside Eight Bit Attack. Later on, we will do a game of it for you to watch.